The clever gentleman see. The clever gentleman see. How nice and tame you can be. How nice and tame you can be. I know the way you treat another guy. So be a lady. Be a lady. Hello, Broadway.com. I'm Titus Burgess, currently starring in Guys and Dolls. I play Nicey Nicely Johnson. And I'm going to take you guys on a tour of the theater and uh, show you what goes on backstage before we get ready for the show. We're going to start with my dressing room. This is my fat suit. <clears throat> Last summer, I spent uh, every day in the gym trying to uh, lose some weight. And then I come in, and they're like, guess what, buddy? You're going to wear a fat suit. I call her Elaine. She gets, uh, she gets pretty worn out <clears throat> by the end of the show. This is my costume. The rest of my costume is my little shirt and this uh, rad little pattern here we got going on my shoes. And then a lovely view of the brick wall. <laughs> it's pretty glamorous, right? All right, let's go check out some other areas. So come downstairs to this glamorous hallway, the staircase. I don't know what these rooms are for. I've actually never seen them before in my life. Here we have the lovely wig room. Oh, no. oh come on. Oh. They make us look fantastic. Is it, which one of these is my wig? Because I don't think I'll be able to. Yours is over there. There it is. This is my lovely wig that they put on. And it completely transforms me and, and turns me into Nicely Nicely Johnson. And I absolutely love it. Because you can see, I'm not bald. I just shaved my head. Don't get it twisted. All right, kids. We're going to leave you alone let you get to work. Thank you for saying hello. Thank you. Most of my show takes place underneath here um, because we're running back and forth uh, across the stage because there's no backstage space because the band, the orchestra, is on stage. So I come tearing down these spiral staircases, down through here, back through this way, literally running. And one of the stage managers is usually standing in one of these corners yelling, here comes Titus, like really loud. Because with that fat suit on, there's no stopping me. <laughs> so we're going to uh, check in on one of the stars, Kate Jennings Grant. She plays the lovely Sarah Brown in our show. See if she's here. Sometimes they they wait a little late to come, but let me just check in here. Hey, Kate, are you, uh, oh. Oh, hi. Hi, this is, uh. having a moment with Barry. This is Barry Meadow. <laughs> she's, uh, obviously kind of in love with the guy. Kate, what do you think of, uh. Um, the show, how are you enjoying yourself? I'm very busy right now. I mean, the show's wonderful, but I'm, I'm talking to Barry Meadows. So oh, I see. He's Barry's uh, pretty special to you, huh? He's very special, and he heard about Guys and Dolls and how much I loved him. Yeah? Is he going to come see it? He says he's going to, because look what he says. Hi, says, Kate. Hi, Kate. Looking forward to having that glass of champagne with you. All my love. Oh, my God. So you Barry just think Manilow. you're this already practicing. Water. Well, this is water, because I have two shows today. But I'm getting ready for him. He's going to be here any minute. Kate, we love you. Thank you so much. You look beautiful Thank you, as Titus. always. I love working with you in the show when you rock that boat. I want you to have a fantastic two shows. I'm going to. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> this is uh, Adelaide's, or well, one of her costumes during um, Bushel and a Peck. She comes out in this and then she, she rips it off and they have it rigged. I can't really show you because then that would unrig it and then I'd get in trouble. Um, but lots of her stuff um, is hung out here because there, again, there's not a lot of space. This is where she wears for mink, I believe. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. She changes like 15 or 20 times. It's crazy. I have two costume changes. I got real lucky. You know what? Let's take a sneak peek in Craig's dressing room. He's not here yet, but this man is super talented. He has sketched uh, all over his wall, sketched some of the characters from the show. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? I don't I I think that's him. And then I think this is this is definitely Oliver Platt. That's Steve Rosen. That's me, Titus Burgess. I think this is uh Rusty Charlie again. Wait, no, who is that? I don't know who that is. It's just some of the I think that's Des McAnuff, actually. <laughs> he, he directed the show. That's kind of funny. But he's pretty talented, I tell you what. So some of the ladies from uh, the show aren't here yet, but we have two of the, uh, the ensemble members. We have Brooke, and we have the lovely Andrea, who we saw on the way up here. But I just wanted to show the, uh, the viewers some of the costumes that they have. This is Mo, one of the dresses. What's up, Mo? Hi, what's up? <laughs> um, 
some of the costumes, it's like packed pretty tight in here, as you can see. Brooke, how many changes do you have in one show? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh, sorry. Um, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like maybe like ten. Ten, ten changes. Well. That's crazy. I, I will keep my fat suit on and keep my mouth shut. <laughs> 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 how many changes do you have, Andrea? I probably have about, uh, I don't know, maybe seven. Yeah? Yeah. Um, but I only have about five costumes, but I go in and out of them a lot. So, yeah, yeah I'd probably say about seven changes. How long does it take you to get ready for your show? Prob I like to get here about 45 minutes before just to, you know, relax into it a little bit. But yeah. I could do it in half an hour if I needed to. Right on. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go to the guys' dressing room and see if any of them are here. Hi, we're here with Steve Rosen, who plays Benny South Street. Hi there. Hi, Steve. Hi. Why don't you tell us what you're up to? Uh, well, uh, I, uh... I was a huge fan of Titus's before I got to share a dressing room with him, as you can see. Uh, he lives on my desktop, and I was just visiting his website, which I, uh, I look at always, uh, either that or Broadway.com. I'll just tell you, I am surprised. This is the first time he has spoken to me since I have worked here. So uh, it is just a pleasure to finally get to talk to you face to face, Mr. Burgess. I loved you in The Little Mermaid, and you are wonderful in this show. Thank you. What did you love most about doing this show with me? Um, I like the part um, where I get to talk with you on stage, and because we, we talk on stage, we actually we have we have several scenes together. We are actually in. Wait, hey, hey, turn this off. We do what, Steve? You know the guy. I'm the guy in the in the jacket. I wear the blue jacket. In the... Wait, we. That's me. We like do stuff on stage together. We sing a song. We were we went through a very long rehearsal process. I'm kind okay, of boy. Like I'm not. You don't have to like talk down to me. I'm just like curious as to how we actually know each other. Um. We we work together. I'm Steve. We'll be back. This is ridiculous. Nice to, meet you. No. Nice to talk to you. Yeah, really it's nice, nice to talk to you. you. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. This way. This way. You're married. How are you? I'm fine, Ted. Mary Tested plays General Cart. Right? Can we go to your dressing room? Certainly. Oh, I got a little spider. <gasps> Let's not kill it. Let's not kill it. Okay, wait, wait. See it? Once. Everybody wants to be an actor. Everybody. Come on. Come on. Come on here. Okay, very good. Uh, 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 uh. Wait a minute. Oh, goodness. Let me put him out. Let me put him out. <gasps> I think he fell area. Not only is she a talented there actress, but she cares right about there. the environment and people and creatures all around. <laughs> Mary, why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience here, Guys and Dolls, so far? Well... How you, actually, talk to us about how you turned this role into what literally is the scene stealing role of the show. I don't know what what I, I just do what I do. I don't know how to respond to that. But um, Guys and Dolls is a lovely company, and it's a great show, and we're having a great time. It's a great group of people, and um, I people have people live for you in the show, like live, for, and I live for you every single night. She manages to make me laugh, and I have to come in and, and sing and like finish the song or whatever. And often it's a little tedious because you come up with some really <laughs> new, <laughs> really funny things. What do you uh, do? It comes off the top of your head. You don't. Plan yeah, no, stuff. I don't plan stuff. Yeah, it comes off the top of my head. I actually got a note though that I was getting too crazy. I don't believe you. Yeah, I did. I got a note, so I had to pull it back. Are you serious? I did. That's it's probably serious. Now they gave Mary Test a note. They gave me a note. So wait, before you were doing this, you were doing Xanadu, right? Yes, I was and doing Xanadu. How was that? Yeah. That Xanadu was a great experience. We had a great, a lot of fun. It was a great show. Yeah. Fun, fun people. Again, I'm very lucky in that I always get in nice casts. Well, we're always lucky because we get you because oh, we know that you're going to come in there and turn it out. We love Mary Testa. Thanks so much. Mwah. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. So 